the VHD Plus IDE is not only the best choice for beginners with VHDP and our hardware, but also when you're already used to VHDL or Verilog, this is the right IDE for you. In this video, I will give you an overview of how to set up the VHD Plus IDE for VHDL and Verilog, depending on your favorite tools. I will show how it simplifies simulation and show some of the features that make the VHD Plus IDE so unique and helpful. You can download the IDE for Windows, Linux, and Mac, but on Mac, only simulation with GHDL works because QWERTIS isn't available for Mac. After installing, you can add packages depending on your application. You can download our libraries, the driver for our hardware, language service for different languages, GTK Wave and GHDL for simulation, and the Arduino CLI to program Arduino-compatible microcontrollers. When you want to create a VHDL project, you can either create an empty project or start with a template. If you want to include VHDL files, you can just drag them into your project folder. Mixing different languages like VHDL, Verilog and VHDP is totally fine for the IDE. If you already have a Quartus project, this is also easy to import. To simulate files, you can just right click and start the simulation. But you have different options, either GHDL with our own wave viewer or enable GTK wave for visualization in the settings where you also find other advanced settings. You can now see that the GTK wave opens after simulation. You can also download Model Sim from our website. This also supports simulation with Verilog and is easier to use when you include Intel specific code. Make sure that the path is set correctly. Now you can start the simulation again. In the model sim window, you can add signals to your wave and run the simulation. This works the same for Verilog. When you update your code, you can click on Recompile and restart the simulation in Model Sim. Depending on the language server installed, the IDE supports hover information, completion, or folding. 
but the best experience is probably with our own language server for VHDP. In the settings, you can disable different features and you can define the language service to use. The last setting I want to show you is that you can also disable the warning if you are using the IDE only for simulation without QWERTIS. Finally, I show you how to use the visual simulation with GHDP. This also works for other languages than VHDP. You can visually simulate the signals and more. I will link a video in the video description for more details. Here you can also select between the different simulation methods. Now when you want to go from simulation to FPGA, download and install Quartus. After that, make sure that the path to Quartus is correct. When you are not using our hardware, you have two options. First, you can use your Quartus project, and compilation will work just like in Quartus. Just make sure that you set the top HDL file. You can also see the connected pins. To change them, you can use the pin planner in Quartus. When I change the location from A5 to D5, close the windows and try to compile again, the pins are updated. The second option is to define your own FPGA. Just use the plus symbol and you can define the name and pins. This is stored in an XML file in the VHD Plus folder, so you can share your FPGA definition or you can see how this is done for other FPGAs. But the easiest way is always to use our hardware, and here you can just use the visual pin connection. But before you try to program the FPGA, install the driver in the package manager. And if you want to save your design on the FPGA, select long term programming. Now some features for debugging while the FPGA is running are the serial monitor, the plotter, the image viewer, or the logic analyzer. I will link some videos in the video description. When you have files that you want to reuse, you can add your own libraries next to our libraries. Just add them here in the VHD Plus folder. But if you want to help others, you can also add them to our libraries on GitHub. Finally, you can of course also use Git for version control like you are used to from other IDEs for software development. This was of course just a quick overview, but I hope this helps you to get started with the VHD Plus IDE for everybody who is not new to FPGAs or if you are using the IDE at a university. 